Mary not that my PBC family and friends, Pastor Brian here within the Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our words are going to come from Mark chapter 9. And what I want to talk about in particular in this is something I don't think we really recognize or what's really being said here sometimes. We know that we're called to be the salt of the earth. But what does that really look like and what makes us salt, right? Well, let me read to you what it says here, all right? It says, For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. This, I'm sorry, this is Mark chapter 9, verse 49. For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good. But if the salt hath lost its saltiness, wherewith ye will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace one with another. Listen to that promise. If we would have salt with one another, have salt within ourselves, we would have peace one with another. But what is that salt within ourselves all about? Have salt in yourselves. What is that all about? Well, he just answered that. He said, the sacrifice shall be salted with salt. In other words, if we have self-sacrifice within ourselves, we can have peace with one another. Isn't that an amazing thought? He literally is telling us that if we would just be willing to actually lay ourselves down for the cause of Christ, for his name, be salt, then we can have peace with one another as well. Because honestly, discord and discontention and, and, and strife comes when we don't have salt with one another. When we're not, neither one of us is willing to sacrifice, be it our thoughts, our position, our pride, whatever it may be. We should have salt one with another. So I hope this is a crazy day just to think about that as you think about how you relate to one another. As always, remember that I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.